Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday night. That means it's time for another Facebook Live. While you are finding me, I'm going to share this with my group. So I always go live on my Creating with Cindy page, but then I also have a group. And just in case somebody's looking in the group instead of the page, I like to share it over there. So give me just a minute to do that. That will give you a minute to find the video. I hope you all are having a good week. All right. There we go. Now it is shared over. I don't know what to do about this glare, but hopefully it'll not be in our way too much. I've got a little paper towel over here to cover up the glare from that. So we'll try and keep it. The glare down as much as we can. I'm using my glass mat. I've started using this on my craft table all the time. I love it. Um, I did a video on how you can use it, some different techniques and things or tips that you can use this with, use this for. Um, this is only available if you join Stampin' Up. Um, so it's a one of the options that you can get as a bonus when you join. So when you join Stampin' Up, you... Um, Always get $125 worth of product for $99. No shipping on that order. During celebration, which is what's going on right now, January and February, um, they always have some type of a bonus for you if you join. So this is one of the options. You can get this glass mat studio, which comes with the glass mat, um, this silicone thing that you can put um, the little stamp and spots go in there. You can use this to... You can mix stuff in here. Um, it will stain. Um, you can use this just to kind of hold on to stuff. So it comes with this. And then the the cleaning cloth. So you just get it wet and it wipes things right off. And I'll show you that as we're going along. Um, so you can either have this for free or um, $30 more in product. So $155 for $99. So if that's something you're interested in, um, reach out to me and I will help you with that. Um, that extra special is only good through the end of February, 2024. So don't wait on that. We only have eight days. Yep, eight days left of celebration. So tonight I am showing you, let me grab our little flyer. They... Um, put out some more celebration products at the 1st of February. And one of them is this Botanical Layers stamp set, which I have here also, a little bigger. Um, and that's what I'm using tonight. <coughs> this is the card we're going to make. And then at the end, I will show you kind of a reverse um, type card, a little bit different. If you are new to my Facebook Live, I come live almost every Wednesday um, and show you something fun. And then I always give away the pro the project that I make the next week. So last week we made um, really quick and easy cards using this Memories and More, which is another one of the, where did I put that piece of paper? Oh, I'll put it over here. Another one of the new, um, well, the cards are, the cards and envelopes, another new celebration item. And so that's, these card, whoop, I already told you, showed you who did, who won. Anyway, at the end, if you, if you missed that, I'll tell you who won. Um, but we made a bunch of cards with, well, we made one, but I showed you a bunch of cards with that. So I would show you the, who won that last week. And then next week, somebody will win this card that we make tonight. So what, let me just, let's just get started. I think, oh, one more thing. When this video is done, I will post on my blog the measurements for the card. So if you want to create one like this or similar to this, you have the measurements you need um, to do that. So that will be over on my blog, which has disappeared um, when this is done. Okay, now I think we're ready to go. So I took the deckled circles dies and cut a circle out of a piece of white cardstock. And I made sure it was the same width as the cardstock I was going to use on my card. So let's just make sure I get this where you can see it well. Let's just get this 
taped down to our glass mat. I'm just using some post-it tape because that will peel off of our card easily. This one, there we go. And then we'll take, this is, we're using this as a mask. So we'll take this, I'm gonna pull this off just so I can see, and line it up with our piece of cardstock underneath. Tape it down. All right, and now we're ready. So I'm going to use soft sea foam. That's gonna be kind of my grassy area if you want. And one of our blending brushes. And I'm just going to start off a little bit and then go on to the to what we're gonna put on our card. Now you don't wanna go past this. Um, if you wanna be really safe, then you make it the same length, but the piece I had wasn't as long. And so I just made sure I had the right width. And you can also start off on your mat if you don't have a piece of cardstock like this that's a mask. Let's do a little more over here. All right, that oh, looks looking good. All right, so that was soft sea foam. I'll put this away. And now I'm going to use Pool Party. So with another blending brush, these are our small blending brushes. We're gonna do the same thing on the top part of this. And you always wanna start with a little bit and then add to it because you can't take any of your color away. You can continually add to it, but you can't take it away. All right, that looks good. And I'm going a little bit into the green just so it blends a little bit. Um, you do wanna make sure if you're using two colors like this that they blend well. You don't wanna use two colors that when they blend will create a brown, unless that's the look who you're going for, but that wasn't what I wanted here. All right, and then you just peel off your mask and you have this beautiful deckled circle. And let's go ahead, before we do anything else, let's pick this up and let's clean off our, oh, not up there. It will wash that right off. I wrote that with the uh, stamp and Write marker and that cloth will wipe that right off too. Okay, now we can peel our post-it tape over. And now we're ready to do our stamping. So I am using just this leaf image and the You Mean the World to Me. Those are the two um, images I'm using. So let's get our leaf image. This is Mossy Meadow. Whoops, sorry, that might've been a little noisy. I wanted to use a nice dark green. So I'm gonna stamp once and then tilt it and stamp again. So you have that nice two-toned effect. And then our sentiment is gonna go down here. Oh, it did that to me on the other too. All right, well, I can't, if it was photopolymer, I could try and stamp it again, but I can't do that with these. I can't see to line it up again. All right. That is all of our stamping. Now we're ready to put our card together. So this is another quick and easy card. <clears throat> I forgot to grab all my adhesives. And some dimensionals. And a bone folder, whoops. Now I will warn you, if you write on your glass like that, um, it will come up on your hands or anything else you put on top of it. So don't, don't put anything on top of it that you don't want to get black on. All right, this I embossed. So this is a piece of Mossy Meadow and I embossed it with the Fern embossing folder. It just seemed like a good background for this botanical card and I'm going to adhere it with my liquid adhesive. Anytime I have an um, embossed piece, I like to use the liquid adhesive. It gets down in those little crevices better. 
We'll just center that. This is a pool party card base. Again, all of the dimensions will be on my blog after this video is over. And then this I can just do with my Stampin' Seal. So I have a, um, another piece of pool party just to, to put behind our stamped image as a little mat. And it is just going to have an eighth of an inch showing on each side. And then that I wanted to put up on dimensionals. Whoops, I pushed it forward. So we'll put one in each corner and we'll do one in the middle. It just depends on how big the um, paper is, whether I put one in the middle, but this one's decent size, so we'll put one in the middle. Pull off all your backs. Oops, got some little hanging on things there. And then just center that in your I might have put it a little bit up, I think, on your card base. And then one last touch. This is um, a celebration item. It's this pool party crinkle ribbon. And I just took it while it was still on the bolt and just tied a knot like that. And grab your scissors. Oops, I want to make sure I've got it this way. Trim it down, and then you can always trim the other end down to you so that they match. And then for this, I do want to use a glue dot to adhere it. It's just a good way to adhere these ribbons. And the easiest way to use glue dots is you stick whatever you want into it here onto the glue dot and then pick it up. That's easier than trying to pick up the glue dot and add it to whatever you're doing. There. And that's it. That is our card. So super easy. Um, you can do this with any shape. Just cut out, you know, just do a die cut and then um, do your blending over it just to create a little background there for your leaves or whatever. Um, I really, I love this combination anyway, the blue and the green together. So because I um, die cut this circle out of this, I had a circle left over. So I took that circle, which I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Oh, here it is. And I did some, I don't know if you call it reverse masking, but this is what I made. So I just laid the circle down and held on to my held on to it and then did my blending around it. And so then when I picked it up, there was this beautiful white circle in the middle. And so then you can stamp over that. So I stamped in black. And then this is old olive and daffodil delight. And I used old olive, daffodil delight, and pumpkin pie on my blending. So that's the reverse of that one. All right, that's it for tonight. Like I said, it was a quick and easy card. Um, I hope you all try this out. Be sure and share if you do. And I will, oh, and if you didn't see already, the winner of last week's card is Debbie. So I will get that to her. I will probably wait till I see her next so I can give her the envelope too um, because I don't want to mail it to her in that envelope and then she doesn't have anything to mail it in. So all right, that is it. I will get my blog post up shortly, and I will see you next Wednesday for something fun. It will be almost the last day of celebration, so don't wait if there are any other celebration items that you would like. Go ahead and place your order soon to get those. All right, I will see you next week. Bye.